what's yours? Yeah. Hi, friends. Hi, friends. Uh, uh, I want some that. Hi, friends. Um, Good that. morning. We might be related. Do you have crazy hair? Yeah. Does mommy have crazy hair? Yeah. We wake up like this every day, both of us. Hi, friends. Hi, friends. Okay, we're going to get ready. Lola has a poetry recital. So I curled the girl's it's hair. Daddy! And Daddy took them to school. And so. Um, it's Daddy, Mommy! He'll be home soon. He'll be back. Yeah, he'll be back really soon. Um, so I have to get ready because I don't want to be late. So we're going to go ahead and start getting ready together. Um, say hi when you're hopping on. One, if you're watching the live. Two, if you're watching the replay. I had a pretty floor length yellow dress that I was like, that's what I'm going to wear. <laughs> Thumbs up. Um, and it wouldn't button. So. Oh, okay, we'll do some of that. All right. Which one do you want? Down. This one? Okay, can you help rub it in? Uh oh. We're almost out, Beta. Hmm? We're almost out. Oh. What's that? What is it? I ordered more, it just hasn't came in. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, sis. So, Adam took the girls to school bowl. They look so cute. We went dress shopping. Daddy! It's Daddy right home! Yeah, Daddy's on his ride home. And um, we took Lola dress shopping last night. So she does a poetry recital um, every year. Yes. And it's like her favorite thing. And this year she gets to do the intro for it. So she's really excited. Um, I think he is here. She's totally spotted you in the driveway. She was like, Daddy's home. Oh. Um, do you need a shower? Do you want to? Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. All right. You want to go with Dad? Okay. Go get a snack. Say bye, friends. Bye, friends. Oh. All right, there you go. Okay, so what do you guys think about this? This is probably not even, I don't know if I'm going to wear this because I feel like it's too low to wear to a um, school thing. So, I don't know. Probably a different top, but it is for right this second. I'm at least not in pajamas. Um, <laughs> she's so cute. Okay, we have to like seriously step it up. All right, here we go. If you've never tried this, this is, I didn't link it, sorry. Uh, Tarte T Largo Glow. I'll link it in the comments later. Um, if I have one bronzing thing, I have 400. I just, every time I see one and they make one, I'm like, well, I think I should try that. Um, this one I used on that Mexico trip and also dibs, but this one is like more just a tan. Not necessarily. The dibs is kind of just really golden. And this is more, do you think I got that all over body spray tan I talked about getting yesterday after the gym? Nope. Took, took the kids shopping for poetry recital outfit instead. Uh, oh, well. Okay. Also, their school is 30 minutes away. So for example, so like he just drove 30 minutes there and 30 minutes back home. And then we have to be there soon. So we'll drive 30 minutes there and 30 minutes back. So it'll be two hours in the car this morning. Then this afternoon, they'll have to be picked up. But one has to be picked up at three and the other has to be picked up at five. So it'll be another, it's a disaster. It's, um... It didn't used to take that long in traffic. It used to take like 20. And now our city has kind of evolved and it's a little more trafficy. And it is crazy. Okay, a um, little bit of that. Just a little bit of glow right under my face here. All right, then we're gonna do our skincare. Or not our skincare, our makeup. Just a little bit of this on. This is that Revive from Palmafera. Uh, they're 99 cent shipping ends today, but this just gives you like the nicest hydrated glowy look. Look at that instantly. A little bit of bronzer and a little bit of that. It's like your skin will thank you. 
All right. Same here. 30 minutes work. Now it takes 45 minutes. It's horrible. And our kids are pretty involved just in life and everything. And it's, I don't know. I'm like, how many hours of the day? Not only do we spend, but do they spend in the car? I just hate it. It's like, I feel like I'm wasting my life. All right. Love their school. And they have a lot of great friends there. And the community there is really great. And that's why we do it. But, okay, trim fit. Um, just a good way to start your day. Especially on a day where, you know, you're like, I've already been up a few hours. And, um, just could use a little extra oomph putting in my greens. So, I've been taking Trim Fit almost a year now. Absolutely love it. Like, it is my favorite way to start my day. Um, if I get an afternoon slump, like, after lunch or closer to car pickup, I'll take another one. It is so good to cut cravings. It's so good to burn fat. It's great to help you maintain your weight or like I was in a bad plateau and started it and like jump started. Um, I'd already lost around 80 pounds and then started taking this and lost another 50. And I had been at a plateau for like eight months. It is phenomenal. Um, the greens are not necessarily a weight loss thing. They're just a health thing. It gives you over a hundred fruits, veggies, and minerals. I give them to my kids. I give them to myself. But if you're looking for actual like weight loss, um, the two products I recommend, it's the trim fit, uh, by beautiful you, and then take a probiotic. Just take it, take a daily probiotic. Healing your gut health is so imperative for like everything to function the way it's supposed to. Uh, do the greens taste nasty like other ones? No, Tracy. No, not at all. Um, they taste like a mild pineapple flavor. I had been asked to work with um, three other green companies over the years. And when I was like, sure, send me a PR package. You know, I'd like to get healthy, try greens. <sighs> they were so bad. Um, and some of them were really popular brands. And I'm like, I cannot believe people take this. I, and one of the companies, it was like a 20% higher commission, um, than what you is like a huge commission, but it was like, they tasted so bad. I was like, I can't drink this and I would never recommend it to my audience. Um, and these taste delicious. I like mixing it with the trim fit because the trim fit is kind of a sweet taste anyways. Um, but that company has their total hormone balance, just these. Um, I have PCOS, have struggled with like bad periods my whole life, excessive bleeding, like um, just, just bad, like in general, and um, crampy, like just not good periods, bad PMS, everything. This is my second month on it and I took it for a week and I was like, I just don't want another supplement just to be real. And, um, I had a breakout or like some breakouts my first week and I was like, I'm not doing it. I don't want to break out. Don't want whatever. Okay. So then I started getting all these messages from customers who were like, Holy cow, this has changed. I'm not having hot flashes. Uh, my bloating is gone. My period was almost nothing this month. Like I feel the best I've ever felt. And I was like, I need to go try that. So, um, I talked to the owners of the company. I was like, I had breakouts. I've never had a breakout. She was like, oh, it's like, I just don't normally get them. And she was like, just, it takes 60 days to get into your system. She was like, if you'll give it that, just give it a try. So I low key started trying it again. And this month I did not even know my period was coming. I just like started. And I was like, is it already time? Sure enough on the calendar, it was already time. Um, But I didn't have any of my period symptoms, which is crazy. And the month before, I did have some PMS, but my actual period, I didn't have to use a heating pad. This time, have not used, like, did not use a heating pad at all. It just ended. And it was like, I guess what I would assume normal periods are like. And so, but it's on sale 35% off today and tomorrow only. So you can stack my code on top of it. Um, but. It's like my code, the subscription, and the deal. You get it 35% off. But anyways, um, just wanted to let me know the link 
isn't working for a necklace I posted a few days ago. Um, I will have to go look. If you can send me the link for that and say it isn't working, then I can fix it. I scratched my face. Okay, Liz says, love my total. It's been since January and last month and this month, amazing. Literally zero symptoms. Okay, that's what this period, I had zero symptoms. I mean, I didn't have, well, I had one zit, which for like a period breakout, that was amazing. And then... I, I wouldn't have even known that it was, I did not know. Like, I just, it happened. The PMS, none. The, um, like, I wasn't crampy. I wasn't heavy. I wasn't, um, and I almost was like, am I placebo? Like, do am I, what? But it isn't because normally I am just like wanting to eat like a carnival, you know, like everything that's there. And instead I started like a restart while I was on my period. Like who does that? Anyways, um, my code is Courtney Swan. And when you click that link in the description of the video, it should automatically put the code in. Um, yes, if you're in menopause, you're having hot flashes, lack of sleep, um, completely recommended for that. Yep. So, but it is on, so the greens, the trim fit and the hormone balance are all through the same company. It's called beautiful, uh, beautiful you. The one that's for easier periods is the pink and white package. It's called total hormone balance. And I will be so curious. Um, I've been on progesterone now for, gosh, it's before my surgery. It's probably eight months, nine months because my periods were so bad and trying to like help balance it. And it has not really put a dent in it in the last two months since I started this. I'm like, if you, if you have like, you know, where you're having bad night sweats and you're having, I don't really get a ton of acne, but I just get, um, like horrible cramps, horrible flow, horrible, uh, like where you feel miserable and starving. And it's been amazing. Uh, and I will say that I have not gotten any more like breakouts. Um, so I guess it sometimes it just takes, like that was my first couple of days ever taking it. And then my body was like, okay, here we go. And it's just some great. Okay. Um, how do I use heel body oil? Uh, use it all over. Just want to know. Yep. You can use the heel body oil from Palmafera on like anything, everything. Okay. I have to get ready and talk or I, he will not get to get ready and we will not look like any buddy at this poetry recital. Ooh. To early morning live today. I always feel so accomplished when I go live early in the morning. It's like, just feels, instead of being like, okay, I've got to get that done. My face hurts so bad even to do this. Veda the other night threw herself backwards on the bed and I didn't, didn't even see it coming. Like had no idea. She just decided to do it. Just jump and throw herself and she smacked my face. I just knew I was going to look in the mirror and be like black. I even was like worried when I went to touch it. I was like, is my bone broken? <laughs> and, um, it, it made me cry. Like it hurts so bad and it is so tender. Um, and so it happened and Adam was in there and I mean, you just heard it like thunk. He was like, are you okay? And I was like, oh my gosh. And Veda goes, oh no, I hurt mommy. Let's get her a bottle and an ice pack. <laughs> and um, I was like, you're so funny because normally if she gets a boo-boo or something, you know, we'll be like, all right, we'll get you a bottle and an ice pack. And so uh, she wanted to get me um, a bottle and an ice pack. Uh, so the top I'm wearing, it's not pajamas. It's like a little puff sleeve. I don't think I'm going to wear it to the, I love it. I think it'd be so cute with little shorts. Not even sure if I would, I don't know. I was thinking maybe this would make it more dressy for the poetry recital. I just think it's a little too like flashy. I don't want to be flashy at 
the poetry thing, so I'll probably switch tops, but I didn't have anything else up here. Um, well, I did. I had a yellow dress. I couldn't get it to button. You know, it's just one of those mornings. So I was like, okay, what else do I have up here? And I had this. I was like, all right, we'll do this in jeans instead of a yellow dress. Okay. There are a lot of comments today, and I'm not ignoring you. They're just really fast. Um, so I might have to go, like, while he drives and um, respond to comments after. So if I don't get yours, uh, if you actually need the Danger Danger Palmafera and you need to buy one at a time for hormonal acne, what would you start with? Um, I would start, oh, so you need it, but you maybe can't, right, at this time. So Palmafera has their 99 cent shipping. It ends today. And I would do the Palmafera Pure Oil if you have acne um, and their acne face wash. If you don't want to invest in like a big package, that would be what I would do because that's going to give you help with like the inflammation and redness and um, it helps like actually probably the Palmafera Rose, not the Palmafera Pure because the coriander, the eucalyptus, the lavender, all those things help for healing um, acne. So I would do Palmafera Rose. little bronzer at my eyes. Uh, makeup I'm using today is from Ophir. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. I did link it in the description of the video. If, I, if there's ever something you wanted and I just didn't link it, if you can, you can message me anytime and I will try my best or take a screenshot and send it to me and be like, hey, what was this? Um, then I will get it for you. Okay, so we went to Trader Joe's last night as well. Um, I need to post about just a few things that I got. I had all the kids with me, and it's just not practical, like, by yourself with kids um, to document. I don't know how these other people do it. They have, I'm convinced they have to have someone there, like, helping or videoing them or something. Or maybe they're better with a tripod and not losing their kids than I am. But I brought these up for Veda for her to snack on because I thought she was going to be up here with us for a lot longer. Um, but Adam got back home sooner than I thought. So, but these are the freeze dried banana slices. They have been sold out for months. When we got there, Lexi, you would have thought she won the lottery. She was jumping up and down and squealing. Like we bought six bags. Um, and they take these for snacks for school. Um, it still has all the nutritional value of a banana, um, but they aren't messy and they're so easy for like snacks. Um, but if you've not tried a dehydrated banana, you're just missing out because it is not dehydrated, freeze dried, a freeze dried banana, which is so different than a dehydrated banana. A dehydrated banana is like crispy, kind of like a chip and a freeze dried banana is like, I'll show you. Anyways. <laughs> um, the pearl ring is lavender blue, and then my wedding ring um, is, Adam went and got it sized down. So, I am still going to totally rock those Amazon rings, though, on occasion, and on vacations and stuff, because they are just so cute. So many good rings. Um, okay, so this is what a freeze-dried banana looks like. See how it's puffy? It's so good. Mm -hmm. Got freeze dried strawberries, freeze dried blueberries. And it's just the ingredients are bananas. That's it. So it's such a good snack for your kids because it's not like freeze dried mangoes. Um, they are fruits. So, I mean, they convert to carbs in your system, a little high in sugar. So, you know, if you pair it with a nut, if you're trying to do like healthy eating, pair it with some almonds. But, um, anyways. We ordered Palmavera Rose last night. I can't wait for you to get it in and try it. Okay, a little bit of brows because just feel more put together with my eyebrows done. My hair's crazy. I washed it last night. You know when you're on several day hair and you've been curling your hair a good bit and it just kind of smells like burnt hair. 
that's what it was last night and I got it wet in the shower. I had not planned to wash it. I was going to try and get a day or two left um, out of it and I got it wet. Just the tips and I was like, oh, it smells like burnt hair. And so I went ahead and washed it and I should have brushed through it. Should have done the things, but I didn't. So today, this is what, I mean, look at the, seriously, it's so embarrassing. It's like, and it's got to be genetic because two of my kids wake up the exact same way. One of them doesn't, but two of them, they wake up just like this, where it is just ugh, so annoying. Um, my nose is itchy. Okay, so yesterday, if you've never gone shopping with two tiny humans that are really excited about an upcoming event, they tried on so many outfits, and we don't normally do try-ons. We have four kids who are like, we're not trying on clothes. You can try them at home, and then if they don't fit, the next run we go to Target, we'll return them. But we normally don't do fitting room try-ons because it's just, it's just a lot of work. And um, on special occasions or going to get something special, we, I like, we'll take the girls and let them try on clothes. This is probably our third or fourth year that we've had to, to do. It's mostly the poetry recital is to wear their Sunday best. And so, um, I don't know why. I think it's because I did this with my hands and balloons popped up. Sorry about that. And so we did the fitting room, trying on so many outfits and it's so cute to watch them and be like, this looks better than I thought it was going to, you know? And then they try on something else and they're like, I thought that was a 10. That's an eight. This is now a 10, you know? And it was, they're just so funny. And so I am cherishing the time of their ages. So Lexi's 11 and Lola's nine, Veda's two, Christian's 15. Um, but I'm just trying to like soak in every couple months. I feel like they're changing just drastically. So, um, just trying to soak it all in. Okay, here we go. Um, I can always do my mascara in the cart and lips in the cart if necessary. So I'm going to start on here. If I have enough time to finish lips, then I will. Um, all right. Uh, hair products that you just don't need to live without. Um, the Mother's Day sale is happening from launch right now. And... This is glass hair. It's a thermal primer. My hair is dry. I went to bed on a wet head, but it is dry. And I'm going to use, this is a low volume, the one with the changeable um, thing. So you can put a bigger one on this size. It's, I don't even think it matters which full of volume you buy. It, you just need one. It's like they're so good. Some of them are bigger. I have one here. This one's big and oval. This one's just a preference. Whatever you like the best. They all work fantastic. They have more bristles and a titanium plate. And they have changed my life for how... Because typically what would happen, even if I straighten my hair and it looks like this... It would just go bad. So normally I was a messy bun person. Like always a messy bun. Then I found when they launched glass here. I put this all over. And I it comes out in like a fine mist. So I kind of spray a good bit. Um, okay. And it's heat activated. And then I turn this on. And it takes about two minutes for this back plate to heat up. So I'm going to brush my hair. And then by the time I've gotten all the tangles out, it'll be time to kind of start getting a blowout with it. Um, will I do a tutorial one day on cleaning it? Um, obviously, I don't do a great job at keeping mine super clean. Uh, but it's, I mean, if you need to clean it, this is all I do. I take my finger and I just like, it's pretty satisfying. is all I do that's it and then it's normally when I'm taking photos of something <laughs> and I take a photo and then I look at it and I'm like oh that looks atrocious um 
I will do that. I rarely ever clean them. So if this tells you like, it's normally just your loose hairs that get out. It doesn't pull your hair, um, but that's all I do. <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it. Okay, here we go. Just right now, all I'm doing is um, brushing out all that frizz and tangle. I forgot to ask for shares. I am the world's worst. Share this video, comment, share below, and I'll pick one of you for an Amazon gift card giveaway. Um, sorry, sorry, sorry. I have very tangly hair, so I like to start at the bottom and work my way up. Pro tip, brush your hair after you get out of the shower and before you go to bed. But, do as I say, not as I do. Now that we are all brushed through, brushed through and detangled, I'm gonna separate my hair into sections. It's just gonna do better. Um, I don't really get gunk on mine, but I typically just use glass hair and a, a little volume. So depending on if you're using leave-in conditioners and stuff like that with your little volume, you may get build up, but for the glass hair and the volume only, I don't normally get any. Okay. It does come with a cleaning tool. I could not tell you if you were to give me a hundred dollars to find that cleaning tool, it's like this big and, um, I couldn't, I couldn't find it. My life depended on it. I have no idea where it is, but if you just like put your finger up under it or, or, or you could keep up with your cleaning tool probably probably that would be better you just ordered your total they've never ran it on sale before so 35% off is amazing um it's hard to talk so the total hormone balance 35% off is amazing they did never run it on sale and um it's just a two-day sale so today and tomorrow um but definitely keep sending me your messages of how like I love seeing comments of how your cycle is impacted um it's just exciting and as far as taste I saw a thing that said what does the total hormone taste like it tastes like communion so that's the only thing I can if you ever grew up in the church and they gave you like a little communion packet with a wafer on top and you peel it off and you take it it tastes almost like that the kimono uh, is linked in the description of the video or drop the word me and I'll send you links for everything we talked about. Or I could keep up with the tool, right? I could try, but I probably, I probably won't. I mean, I do try. Some people are good at it. I am obviously not. I'm just trying to keep up with all my kids. I feel like my brain has so much to keep up with. It's like, is it at the point of survival and taking care of people? Is this like, how necessary is it to keep up with? She loves her U product. She's lost 25 pounds. I love getting messages like that. Congratulations, Patty. I'm about to burn myself. This necklace is the cutest thing, but my hair dryer is heating it up and I feel like I'm about to brand my neck. Huh. Look how cute though. She's cute.
So yesterday, we were shopping at the mall for their dresses. And Lexi goes, today at school, I learned about David and Bathsheba. And I was like, did you? Which if you're not familiar with that Bible story, that is where King David has an affair with a woman. And um, he's like watching her bathe in the river. He like sleeps with her and then he has her husband killed. So it's like kind of a very intense you know if you're reading the bible and you're like whoa so they learned she's in sixth grade so they learned about it and she was like you're never gonna guess what happened and i'm like well i probably could because i also was in uh bible school at one point and so uh but i was like okay tell me about it and so she was like telling me and it was so funny and she was like i cannot believe that got written in the bible and i was like i can agree. I also can't believe that that was written in the Bible and that that happened. Um, and so, but it's just, uh, I don't know. It's just so fun. Like their parenting is very challenging and very hard, but it is so fun to see them experiencing the world through different things, you know, and like getting to teach them life lessons or teach them about, you know, well, what did you think about that? Or, um, like, even going into talking about, and God still said, like, David was a man after his own heart. Like, even someone who could do something like that, but, you know, that we all are capable of sinning, but that God still saw his heart, you know. I don't know. It was just so funny. And then um, last night, I was watching a video about planting dill, and I just... I was watching it and do you ever feel like the Lord speaks to you just in little things? Like if you're really listening or watching or noticing something, all of a sudden it like you notice it differently. And this lady's video, she was talking about how she plants a dill seed. She plants dill by seed in her garden. And she said, I did that and I planted the seed. I get this huge dill bush. And then on, she showed this one section. She was like, I'll leave a few of these flowers to flower and they will turn to seed and they're going to reseed the ground. And, um, it will come back year after year. And I just thought like, man, when you really think of the law of the harvest and planting good seeds and sowing tithes and sowing good things like into the world and kindness and all these things and these seeds that you're planting, right? God says like when you give to him, he opens up the floodgates of heaven and pours out a blessing and that you can't help give God. And when you look at a plant that you're like, you planted one seed, you got so a plant with tons of fruit. And then that plant produced tons of seeds that you got hundreds more than what you planted that it could continue over and over. I just was like, mind blown. I'm so excited to do our garden because I feel like you just learn so much in the garden and just in gardening videos but it was like the the way she said it I just thought man like how how incredible is that so I'm not just mind flowing like I have to finish drying my hair but that just I'll share the video I'll share it I'll, it's about dill seed it has it's not anything spiritual at all but when I wa listened to it I felt it spiritually you know like I was like this is what it's like when you give to God like this is how the like the law of the harvest like this is how God works that you give him one and he gives you a plant with hundreds you know not only did you get the fruits but you also got the seeds to make more and more and more fruits and if you're good with that seed and you're responsible with it and you make good choices with what little you've been given he gives you more and more and more and if you're not lazy and you're, you cultivate it and you do good with that you could have an abundant harvest and it was just like anyways that was my dill seed thing not me going to amazon to buy dill seeds we love dill That's so exciting. I love Life with Jess. If you don't follow her, my friend Jess Bridgman, she is so inspiring. Um, Tara said that Jess must have been talking about me for something. Um, but she's so wonderful. We went on a trip to Hawaii together. And I am such an introvert that I didn't get to know her until our last dinner. And we got sat at a table and so, you know, got to talking and I just clicked with her so well. She has an incredible weight loss story, but she's just so sweet and um, absolutely love her.
guys should check her out if you don't already follow her. She's so sweet. Bless that seed when you're planting and watch it grow in abundance. Yes, Sandy. So we are we are planting a garden and we actually, so we have our old garden space that the beds are just falling apart. So I decided, okay, maybe we just clean up that space, but I want to do the vegetable garden in the backyard by the pool because I don't like, I, it's just, I'm already by the pool all the time. I'm always out in that part of the yard. And so I was like, why don't we, so we're going to do the old garden is going to have mostly just pretty flowers and some strawberries and um but mostly just beautiful flowers and then in the backyard uh because i feel like we might as well use those old beds just fix up the broken parts and use them for something they're beautiful um or could be they're not actually right now they're not actually beautiful and then the new um like the backyard we're going to take down some overgrown bushes and just put in vegetable garden there and then that way I can easily still be watching the kids and working in the garden at the same time because the where the original garden was it's just too far for my kids ages like I don't want to not be near them when they're in the pool and they like live in the pool for the summer um Yes, yeah, you love the dill seed story. It's so true. There are messages and everything and you have to listen for them. I remember a time I was working with Unique and I was in the bathtub and I, there was a promotion I was wanting to go for and it was called Black Status. It was the top of the company and I had just, it was out of my reach to be honest and I was just trying, um, I'd already tried to hit it the month before and a few things happened and it fell through and I was like, I have no idea God, like how in the world I can make this happen. Financially, they had a bonus that month and we were poor, poor, um, like food stamp poor. We were, um, our electricity was getting cut off all the time poor. We had had our car repossessed. Like we did not have extra, right? And I was like, if I could hit this, this would be like so just great for my confidence, but great for our family's finances, right? And so um, we, I was in the bathtub and I was praying and I was like, God, I just need you to give me direction. Like, and I went into my bedroom and I was putting on my underwear and true story, my kids had been watching the B movie. I don't know if you've ever seen it before, but it's the B movie. It has like Jerry Seinfeld as the voice. And on the movie, it said black and yellow, black and yellow, like help a fellow. Like they sing this chant about the bees and that they're going to work together to get to victory. And I like, heard it and I was like what is the Lord trying to give me a hint through this B movie and I was like that's it if I yellow status was the entry for the the brand at the company at the time and if you could help enough people get to yellow status you in return would hit black and I did I helped um like 80 people that month hit yellow status and I hit the very top of the company. Like it was a strategy I'd never heard of before from anybody else. It was something that like, I literally feel like the Lord was like, he is the exact timing for when I sat down for me to be in the moment of like looking for something. And I will never forget being like, I really think God can speak to us if we just listen, like, or can put things in our paths. And it's the craziest thing, crazy. And I know that that sounds crazy, right? It does. It's like, well, that is crazy. But is it? I don't know. I mean, yeah, probably. But it did. And I hit the top of the company. Um, and it was probably one of my biggest moments in my career. And I have no doubt, had I not been praying and looking and seeking an answer and asking God for wisdom, and that had not been on at the same time. I mean, I had been trying to do this for almost a year at that time, like every month, like, I don't know what I'm going to do. And that month, that moment that happened, I don't know, just makes you be like, Oh, if you'll just like, you know how it says, like, if you'll seek God, like you'll find him. Or if you're seeking things, like if you knock, the door will be open. It's like, how many times are we just not knocking? Are we just not asking? Are we not praying? Like, or we're wishing and not praying. Like, yes, so amazing. Okay, we got to finish um, because I have to leave in four minutes. I have to be off this live in four minutes. I'm taking a mascara and a lip with me and I am 
um, gonna change my shirt. So technically I don't have to leave for 10, but that gives me a little bit, um, a little bit of grace. And I know some people think I'm crazy. Um, and it really does sound crazy if you are like, it does sound crazy, but like if God can make a donkey speak, why can you not speak to me through a bee movie? And I totally, you could not convince me otherwise that that is what happened. Okay. I should have been blow drying that whole time. Ah! I'm getting sweaty. Okay, we're gonna have to pull out the big guns because I'm not gonna have enough time. Turning on the Laduo. This is what I used for my kids here this morning. So in my current career, right, I am trying to do, um, still continue doing my lives, um, but trying to do a little less reels and a little more like, I do, I wanna garden, I wanna like, Take my kids to go do stuff. I want to have a little more freedom with my life. I feel like I, I work a good bit. And so I'm really excited for this summer. So just like, I want, I want to hear from God. Like I want to spend time with him daily. I want to prioritize it in our lives and then also share it with you guys. And that's when it just hits. I think two certain things when you're like, there's no way, like it could be a coincidence, but also times when you're like, I wasn't thinking about that. I didn't come to that on my own conscious thinking. video it's on YouTube I'm sure it's everywhere actually but it's where the guy says oh my chest got hot y'all I'm gonna take off the cardigan I'm roasting um he says like he's out hunting and he's like God, oh, like there was an eagle and he's like I just want to I want to see I'd like to get close to that eagle I'd like to see that eagle today like God like I don't remember if he said if you're real can you show me or if just if I wanted to, I don't remember. I'd have to rewatch the video and the guy then pans over and the eagle had landed on his shoulder and was just sitting there. And he was like, I don't know how I could get any closer to this eagle. Okay. Just so I don't forget. Um, I got my new Eddie Brown on, uh, but tuck that in there because I don't want to not have it. Okay. Here we go. Sometimes you just plug in your flat iron. This is the Laduo, and it is a flat iron and a curling iron in one. And for purposes like today, I would much rather have my hair curled, but I was too chatty, and I don't want to be late for my kids' performance. So I will go with not curly hair. And nope. Going. I'll still have time. I just might not get to change my shirt. There we go. Just doing a little wave. We're not going to do all over curls. We're just doing a quick wave. This is the quickest way I can curl my hair or kind of fix my hair. Um, I'm just going to take big chunks. I go a little heavier in the front and a little like lighter in the back. Just enough that I have a little bend. No time to worry about social anxiety today because 
<laughs> I'm not gonna have any free time before I get there. All right. So glad I put that in my bra. I could totally see me walking out the door and having no mascara on and being like, man, I forgot that. I'm like, technically I'm actually so winning at life. I've already brushed my teeth. I have deodorant on. Okay, so here we are. This iron is amazing. I use it on both my kids this morning. It is my travel iron. I use it all the time. It's a foam iron and a flat iron. Uh, I have my launch link in the description of the video. This isn't technically a launch live. It's just me needing to get ready, but it is linked there and they do have their um, Mother's Day sale happening right now. So you can save up to 70% off. Yeah, this is the Le Duo Grande actually. So they have two Le Duos, one's short and one's long. Um, this one's the longer version. All right, so if you hopped on late, I'll give you a recap of just a few deals so you don't miss out. Um, Pumphira has 99 cent shipping happening. It is ending today at midnight. So if you needed skincare, their skincare is fantastic. And that ends today. Today, so next set of deals is for the Beautiful You brand. And that's like the Trim Fit, the um, Total Hormone Health, the Greens probiotics, all that collagen. Um, they have a deal on the total hormone balance today. And so you can use my code. When you click the link, it should automatically apply it. It's the code's Courtney Swan. And um, you can save 35% off of the total hormone health. Uh, you can add it to a bundle, however you want it. But I'm obsessed with their products. I absolutely love them. Um, and this is my pretty quick. Okay. All right. I am almost said going to hop off in just a second. Thanks for getting ready with me. Uh, if you shared this video, comment share below. We'll pick a winner tomorrow for an Amazon gift card. So it gives people for the replay a chance to participate as well. And if you're watching the live, drop a one. If you're watching the replay, who was here for what? Drop a two. Um, there was a new update with Facebook, so if you're not getting my notifications that I'm live, you can just go to my page and comment, or go to my page and go to where I've gone live before, and I sh it should say Courtney Swan was live, and then have three dots. Click the three dots and be sure it says either turn notifications on, or it'll say your notifications are already on. Don't turn them off, or you won't get them, but... I don't really focus a lot on the back. Maybe I should. Typically I should make sure these front pieces look like something. And then it's kind of like, here we go. I don't know how long that took me, but not, not long. It's quick. Okay, tall chic hairspray. I need to change my shirt. I gotta do it because I can't go around like this. Okay, bye you guys. Have a good day. If you have questions, message me. Bye.